In the shadows of Japan's looming castles and amidst the whispers of a society on the brink of transformation, a figure from the West emerges not just as a visitor, but as a pivotal force in a land grappling with change. This is no ordinary game character. This is Commodore Matthew Perry, a name that echoes through history, now reborn in the virtual world of Rise of the Ronin. But why is an American naval officer central to a story set in the final years of the samurai? Dive into a game where every choice you make ripples through the narrative, where the characters you encounter bear the weight of historical legacies. How does the inclusion of such a consequential historical figure reshape our understanding of the game's world? What role will Perry play in a society teetering between isolation and the cusp of modernization? These questions hang in the air, thick with anticipation, as players prepare to navigate the treacherous waters of political intrigue and shifting allegiances. Rise of the Ronin transports you to 19th century Japan, a time rife with conflict and transformation. The Bakumatsu period serves as your backdrop, a tumultuous era where the winds of change brought warships to secluded shores and ancient traditions faced the relentless march of progress. Here, in a world meticulously crafted with historical and fictional threads, your actions will determine the fate of a nation. But amidst the clashing swords and blooming Sekira, the shadow of Matthew Perry looms, challenging your preconceptions of power, diplomacy, and influence. The Bakumatsu period, a crucial chapter in Japanese history, spanned from 1853 to 1867, marking the end of the Edo era and the dawn of modern Japan. This was a time of intense turmoil, internal conflict, and the clash of isolationist traditions against the tide of inevitable modernization. The era was characterized by the struggle between the ruling Tokugawa shogunate and the factions advocating for a restoration of imperial rule, setting the stage for a nation at the crossroads of history. Enter Commodore Matthew Perry, a figure whose arrival in Japan acted as a catalyst for monumental change. Prior to his mission, Japan had been a secluded nation for over two centuries, its doors shut to the outside world, fostering a unique culture untouched by Western influence. Perry, an experienced and esteemed officer in the United States Navy, was tasked with a mission that would alter the course of history, to end Japan's isolation and open its ports to American trade. The significance of Perry's mission cannot be overstated. His arrival with the menacing black ships symbolized the unstoppable wave of Western expansionism. The ships, steam-powered and armed to the teeth, were unlike anything Japan had encountered. Their presence alone was a stark demonstration of the West's industrial might, a clear threat to the shogunate's authority and Japan's sovereignty. This leads us to the concept of gunboat diplomacy, a term that aptly describes Perry's approach to negotiations. It's a method of negotiation that is backed by a visible threat of military force. Essentially, it was diplomacy at the barrel of a gun, or more accurately, the cannons of a warship. Perry's use of this tactic was evident in his unwavering demand for the shogunate to open its ports, a demand underscored by the implicit threat of his formidable naval firepower. The culmination of this high-stakes diplomacy was the Convention of Kanagawa in 1854, which marked the beginning of Japan's forced integration into the global market and the gradual dismantling of its feudal system. The impacts of gunboat diplomacy were profound. It not only led to the opening of Japan, but also to a series of treaties with other Western powers, which collectively became known as the Unequal Treaties. These agreements heavily favored the Western powers and imposed on Japan's sovereignty, igniting a nationalistic fervor that would eventually contribute to the Meiji Restoration and the modernization of the Japanese state. In the grand tapestry of Rise of the Ronin, Commodore Perry's historical backdrop serves as a fascinating lens through which players can explore themes of power, change, and resistance. His role in the game is not just a mere historical cameo. It is a bridge connecting the past with the present, offering players a unique vantage point to experience the pivotal moments that shaped a nation's destiny. Commodore Matthew Perry, as depicted in Rise of the Ronin, stands as a monumental figure, embodying the relentless tide of change that washed over 19th century Japan. Within the game's richly woven tapestry, Perry is not merely a historical character. He is a pivotal agent of influence, whose actions and decisions reverberate throughout the narrative landscape, challenging players to reassess their strategies and alliances. In the virtual realm of the game, Perry's character is a complex amalgamation of historical authenticity and creative interpretation. 
He embodies the dual forces of diplomacy and military might, representing an unstoppable force of westernization and modernity. His character is crafted to provoke thought, presenting players with moral and strategic dilemmas. Will they view him as a harbinger of necessary change, or as an imperialist aggressor imposing unwelcome transformation? Perry's nuanced portrayal encourages players to delve deep into the ethical quandaries of his involvement in Japan's metamorphosis. The game intensifies its immersive experience by granting players the power to align with or oppose Perry's ambitions. This choice is not merely a binary decision, but a catalyst for a multitude of narrative branches. Aligning with Perry might mean supporting the Obai faction, embracing the influx of foreign influence in technology, and potentially catalyzing Japan's transition into the modern era. Conversely, opposing him could align players with the factions resistant to external forces, championing traditional values and sovereignty, albeit at the possible cost of progress and broader conflict. The significance of this choice is profound, influencing not only the storyline but also the game's world dynamics, character relationships, and even the gameplay mechanics. Players' decisions in relation to Perry's character could lead to varied game endings, unlock different quests, and trigger unique events, making each playthrough a distinct narrative journey. Speculating on how Perry's historical actions will be adapted into the gameplay of Rise of the Ronin opens a realm of possibilities. His use of gunboat diplomacy could be reflected in game missions that involve negotiation, coercion, or even direct naval confrontations. Players might find themselves navigating diplomatic tensions, engaging in espionage to undermine or support Perry's efforts, or participating in pivotal battles that could alter the course of Japan's history. Moreover, Perry's historical insistence on treaty signing, backed by the threat of naval power, could translate into critical game moments where players must decide whether to use diplomacy or force to achieve their objectives. These moments are likely to be pivotal, with the potential to shape the political landscape of the game, affecting player alliances, enemy factions, and the overall outcome of the narrative. The game developers have the opportunity to weave Perry's penchant for innovation and technology into the gameplay, perhaps offering players access to advanced naval technologies or strategic advantages that reflect the historical black ship's technological superiority. This could introduce unique gameplay elements, such as commanding a fleet, engaging in naval warfare, or utilizing advanced weaponry and tactics that were foreign to samurai-led Japan. In Rise of the Ronin, the inclusion of historical figures like Commodore Matthew Perry is not just a nod to historical enthusiasts, but a core element that deeply influences the game's dynamics. Perry, as a character in the game, serves as a conduit through which players can experience the tension between tradition and modernity, a key theme of the Bakimatsu period. His presence in the game world is a catalyst for various scenarios that challenge players to navigate through a landscape where diplomacy, warfare, and strategy intertwine. The game ingeniously blends factual historical elements with fictional narratives, allowing players to immerse themselves in a world that feels authentic yet boundlessly imaginative. This blend prompts players to make decisions that could alter the historical trajectory, offering alternative outcomes to well-known historical events. Engaging with Perry might unlock missions that involve diplomatic negotiations, covert operations, or even direct confrontations, each infused with the game's strategic depth. The mechanics are designed to reflect the era's technological advancements, symbolized by Perry's black ships, introducing players to new warfare technologies that stand in stark contrast to the samurai's traditional ways. This juxtaposition not only enriches the game's narrative depth, but also expands its gameplay variety, offering players a unique experience that combines the tactical intricacies of feudal Japan with the brute force of industrialized warfare. As we venture through the meticulously crafted world of Rise of the Ronin, Commodore Matthew Perry emerges not merely as a character, but as a symbol of the tumultuous era that reshaped Japan. His portrayal offers players a unique lens through which they can experience the game, challenging them to ponder the consequences of their choices against the backdrop of historical events. Perry's potential role in the narrative is multifaceted. He could be an ally, an adversary, or a complex figure whose motives are as intricate as the era he represents. Players' interactions with him will undoubtedly be a highlight, providing depth to the game's richly woven storyline and impacting the overall arc of their journey. This game masterfully marries historical authenticity with creative liberty, inviting players to explore a world where fact meets fiction, 
and history is not just remembered but relived. Through its engaging gameplay, Rise of the Ronin encourages us to reflect on the past while charting our own course through its interactive narrative. As we conclude this exploration, let's anticipate the adventures that await in Rise of the Ronin, where history's echoes shape the present's choices. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more captivating content that bridges the realms of gaming, history, and storytelling.